doing. A lot of them are spitting that venom right in your eyes where you cannot see them. Blessings family, welcome back. How's everybody doing? You know, I pray all is well with you and your family. I'm just stopping by for a quick moment to release unto you all out there to be alert in this hour. Stay alert, people of God, because the Lord is revealing our enemies. He's revealing our enemies. So we must pay close attention to what the Lord is saying and doing in this hour. I just see him pulling the covers back on those snakes that are out there that are trying to attack us. They are trying to poison us. So the Lord is saying, be careful, be alert in this hour. Once again, he is pulling the covers back. He is revealing some things. Those of them that have been right in your face, that have been kind to you, the Lord is revealing them because what they are doing, a lot of them are spitting that venom right in your eyes where you cannot see them. They are in proximity of you. They are right in front of you. And the Lord is revealing them. He's pulling the scales off a lot of our eyes so that we can see clearly because we know that the enemy, he's sneaky and he's cunning. He's coming in any which way that he can. If he have to come with a gift, he's coming, people of God. So we have to be careful and be watchful in this hour. I'm telling you, these snakes are out here and they are slithering all over the place. But the Lord is revealing revealing them. So it's very important that you stay alert in this hour. They're going to be coming back. So many of them that you have cut off, they're going to be coming back. And in this hour, sometimes you may have to get quiet. You may have to get somewhere and get quiet and let the Lord begin to speak and pour into you how the enemy is going to come. We know that a lot of times the enemy don't come the same way. So the Lord will let you know. He will warn you, people of God. We know warning come before destruction. So do not ignore what God is trying to show you. Do not ignore it, people of God, because what you want to do, you want to cut that snake off at the head. That's what you want to do, people of God. I'm telling you, these people, they are something else. They could be so kind. They could be so kind to you, to you just think that they're just okay. They are all right. But best believe that a lot of them are not. Most of them are backstabbers. They come through, they talk to you. The minute you turn your back, they will backstab you, people of God. They will begin to talk about you and scandalize your name and everything else. So the Lord is having me to walk in silence in this hour. I don't know who I'm speaking to. The Lord may be calling you to walk in silence. That way you can be more alert of what is going on around you. I'm seeing a lot of this go on in the workplace where you know you could just be talking one minute and the enemy will come in and slither and say some things you know trying to get you to take your guard down but do not take your guards down in this hour if the Lord is giving you discernment on what is happening please pay attention and take heed people of God I'm telling you that enemy he is something else and we know that every level that that we go to there is an enemy on every level people of God so gear up in this hour get in the word search the scriptures stay in prayer do not take down you know I always tell you that prayer is your weapon that's your biggest weapon against the enemy people of God so once again I just stop by to encourage you all in that area to be alert be alert that's what I'm learning to do in this hour, to be on high alert because I'm seeing how that enemy has came through and destroyed so much right in front of my eyes. So the Lord is saying, no, I need you to walk in silence. And we know that our silence have the enemy just wondering. He's wondering because the more we are talking, the more he know our next move. But when we walk in silence, he cannot figure it out, people of God. So continue on this journey, people of God, being on high alert and listening to what the Lord is saying in this hour. Amen. 
Amen. I just stopped by real quickly to share that with someone out there and just know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Bye-bye.